Hey guys, so I'm working on this file for the masterclass that I'm about to launch next week. Uh, we're going to do live event and we're going to do live webinar. Those that live far can also attend. And I showed this file to my friend architect. I asked her, what is the most difficult thing uh, for you to do? And when she looked at the file, she said water. Water is one of the most difficult things uh, to create. So halfway true, because as long as you get the viewing material right, you can always fix the water in Photoshop. Okay, so I'm here having this, this basic file with some basic color correction. You can see just a, a little bit of a, a warm color. And this is something that you can probably also render with SketchUp or Rhino or 3ds Max. And uh, after assembling the passes, you can start working with your water. So I like to have my reflection pass and refraction pass duplicated in order to enhance the reflectivity of the water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate my file and delete the mask. So I'm duplicating my reflection file and I need to select from my adjustment layers, I need to select the water mask and click add mask. Now this I can leave at 100 and I'm gonna duplicate it one more time and I'm gonna switch it to soft light mode and bam, we get the craftier reflections. So both of those, I need to reduce a little bit the opacity I think this one also too strong so yes yeah, somewhere about here now I'm gonna go and do the same thing for my reflection pass I'm gonna duplicate it delete the layer mask and I'm gonna click control and take the mask from the previous from the above layer click on the mask create it one more time and now this, over here, I can duplicate one more time and again switch it to soft light mode and get my contrast back again. So as you can see, basically I'm using and duplicating the same passes that I just assembled, but in order to increase the effect, I need to create a mask and isolate my water in order to treat it individually so I could uh, do those effects. So let's zoom in and check out the water. So the water working pretty nice, but I think the bump here uh, is a little bit too small, maybe at the back. It looks a little bit too small. So what I did is I rendered another map with much bigger bump as you can see here and now I'm gonna paste it drag and drop water large I did the same passes assembly of course within this folder so you can see all the passes been assembled the same way I'm gonna click shift drag and drop it to my layer okay and I'm gonna pull it above my water so now I can take my mask and I can reduce it, remove it from the places that I don't really want it to be there. And make it a little bit more organic look to it. So we will have variation of lights, darks, small and large bumps little waves something like that yeah those are a little bit too bright they reflecting a lot of the sky so making them a little bit darker will give that nice variation somewhere here yeah all right, so you can see it's pretty easy, not a rocket science, as long as you know how to work your 
images and assemble your passes, you'll be able to get to really nice results with your water and get really cool reflections because water reflects really, really strong. This is the most characteristics of the water. It's almost like mirror in some angles. Depends on what angle the sun shines. But if you go and take photography, you can learn a lot about it. Okay, so this uh, map I've created with free plugin from NVIDIA. I made one map, one bump map, and I made also one normal map in order to get those heights. It's almost work like displacement, but um, it's a little bit less heavy on the rendering. So all this stuff I'm going to show in the upcoming workshop. I hope you like this tip about the water and how to work it with adjustment layers and duplicating your passes in order to increase the presence of the reflections. All right? So share it with your friends. This is Alex, your very guy. Ciao.